Hi, I'm BJ Posnacki. In this video, I'm going to show you guys what I have found to be the quickest way to remove one of these brass plugs out of a cast iron pipe. The tools you guys will need for this job is a drill bit with a half inch bit, or if you have one of these reaming bits, these things are great because it has the uh, pilot bit on it and it's just easier for drilling in. A hacksaw with a metal blade. And then depending on what plug you, you plan on using to close it back up, um, you're going to want to have that plug. Or I like these mechanical test plugs. These things you know, are easy because we are going to plunge cut into the threads. And sometimes with these old cast iron pipes, the threads, it's really difficult to thread something in. It's not impossible, you know, but you can clean the threads. But these things are really nice and easy. Just plug, push them in, tighten them up, and you're done. We're going to drill a series of holes starting at one of the corners and then we're going to drill holes connecting to each other on both sides of the square. We want to make sure these holes are connecting because we're going to stick our sawzall blade in there. You may need to do another one depending on how wide your sawzall blade is. And when you're doing this, just be careful. These metal shavings, these brass plugs are very thin. So in your drilling, brass shavings and cutting for that fact, Brass shavings are going to shoot out at you. So kind of keep your face back. Take your sawzall and we're going to do cross cuts into the threads. Don't go too far into the threads. Just want to touch them and then stop. These brass plugs are like a tin can. So once you do your cross cut, get your channel locks in, grab it right by the square and just give it a good pull. It should break out real nice for you. Once you get it going, just give it a little bit of a twist back and forth. Once you're done doing whatever you're doing, and this is a perfect example here, guys. So you could, if you could see in here, I'm not sure if the camera's going to be able to pick it up, but the threads are pr pretty much gone. So we only have a test plug that we can use to put back in here. Now, sometimes when this happens, these test plugs, you know, they have like a, a plastic rim around them. Well, I had to trim this one down with my saw, so I just kind of ran the blade around it and just kind of trimmed it up in order for it to fix, fit in here, you know, and even with the, with trimming it down, the rubber gasket is still a tight fit. So, you know, you gotta have to kind of work it around and then just go ahead and tighten it up. I hope you guys found the video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.